Hello everyone, in this video we will be talking about impose sets. If you are lacking my content, please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit that like button. The agenda of this video will be introduction to import sets and what are the terminologies which are used in import sets and then we will see a demo where we will be importing data from Excel to ServiceNow table. First of all the introduction. Import sets allow administrators to import data from various data sources and then map that data into ServiceNow tables. As you can see import sets can be created only by the administrators and also they are used to transfer data from the data source for example Excel to your ServiceNow. In a nutshell, when you get a requirement to bring data from a third party tool or from an Excel JSON file or any other file, you can use import sets to transform that data and then move it to ServiceNow table. And also you can see it acts as a staging area for the records imported from data source. So it is basically a staging table. In this diagram, you can see import set table stands in between the data sources and the target table. For example, if you want to move your data from FTP file transfer protocol to a CMDB table, import set tables act as staging table and then they transform data and then you actually move it to the CMDB table. So why we are using import set tables because we don't want to put any incorrect data or incorrect format of data directly into our table. So import set table will store that data which is coming from FTP or Excel or CSV and then we will use a transform rule or a transform map to actually convert that data into our requirement or what the service not table is expecting and if it has all the mandatory fields for example if we are importing the incident data it should have a short description also if we are importing the cmdb data then we should have a serial number so we can enforce these kind of rules through import set table this diagram is also available on docs.servicenow.com under import set section. We will be discussing about few terminologies which are quite important to understand before you start importing the data. The first one is import set table which we discussed in previous slides. So it acts as a staging location for records imported from a data source before transforming those records. Fields on these tables are generated automatically based on the imported data and should not be modified manually. So in this particular table, all the fields will be created automatically. For example, if you are bringing data from Excel and all the headers which you will specify on the top of the Excel, they will be created as fields in the import set table. And we will be seeing that in our demo as well. Next is data source. So data source is where actually you are bringing data from for example a file or a JDBC or LDAP or XML. So data source is basically the golden source of that information which you are trying to upload in service now. Next is transform map. So it is a set of field maps that define the relationship between fields in an import set and fields on table. So when you are moving your data from data source to a service now table and you want to map which field should be entered into which field. For example, in the import set table, if we are having short description and on the incident table in service now we have short description. So we know we have to map these two fields so that the data of short description in import set table should be transferred to the short description of incident table in service now. And if we see our previous image, so transform map lies between import set tables and the service not tables. Next is foreign record insert. For example, if you are inserting records in the incident table from the import set or from the data source and there is a user who is not created in service now. So there are 100 incidents and out of those there is one user which was not captured in service now. And if you want to create that user in sys underscore user table. So import set allows that as well. And this concept is called foreign record insert because we are not actually inserting in incident table only, but also in the sys underscore user table, which is kind of a reference field in the incident table. Next is coles. Coles acts as a primary key when you are moving data from import set to the service not table. For example, in our incident table, it could be incident number, which is unique. And if you are moving data 
from the transform map from import set to the service now incident table the incident number acts as a primary key and it won't create new records for that incident number instead it will update the existing record but if it doesn't find that incident number it will actually create a new record next is we will see a demo where we will be inserting data in cmdb ci computer table we have an excel and you can see in this excel we have serial number model id name asset tag of the ci and person name who it is assigned to we have filled in some of the fields which are quite important in cmdb ci computer table and then if i go to service now and i open cmdb ci computer table you will be able to see there are 856 records in table as of now and we will try inserting this one particular record in the table so how can we import that data in service now we'll see it now i will type load data and i will click on this button and you can see the load data page where it is asking us to create a new import set table or we can use the existing import set table as well so let's create a new table and i can say demo import set table we are creating an import set table which lies in between the data source and the service now table and then it's asking from where do you want to exactly pull the data from so the data source so you can upload a file it could be xml or json or maybe csv in our case we will be taking excel and it is asking us from which sheet number you actually want to pull the data from so it is under sheet 1 so I have selected sheet number 1 and my headers are lying in row number 1 so I have selected 1 here I will submit this and it will actually create this import set table automatically if you want to go to the import sets for this data load you can click on this button and it in the progress bar it shows that it has completely created a new import set table and it has inserted one record as well which is present in this excel so if you want to see that loaded data you can click on this button and go and see that record import log is if you want to see the import set logs next we will be creating a transform map and we will define which field in excel or the import set will be mapped to service now tables field I'll click on create transform map and now I have to give a table transform map name and I can say transform demo and it has automatically selected the source table as the import set table which we created and now we have to give the target table name where actually we want to move this data to or upload this data to so we have to select cmdb underscore ci computer because we are moving that data to this table it should be active if you want to use this particular transform map run business rule signifies all the business rules on this cmdb ci computer should run or not when this record is inserted so if there are business rules written on insert or maybe on update and if you want to run them you should check this checkbox it is always recommended by service now to check this checkbox because if you are updating your data in some other tables based on this record they should be updated automatically and they should all be in sync with other records as well next is enforce mandatory fields so if there are any mandatory fields on your target table for example in our case it's cmdb ci computer and you want those fields to be mandatory during this transform you should check all fields and if you want only the map fields to enforce that mandatory validation then you should select only map fields I will as of now select no because we just want to upload a single record then copy empty fields for example if there are empty fields on your excel for some particular field service now doesn't up update those fields in the target table for example if serial number on our excel would have been empty and on the target record there would have been some data it wouldn't override that data but if you want to override that data like in the excel it is empty and the target record has something and you want to override that data with the empty field then you can check this checkbox so it completely depends on your requirement 
नेक्स्ट इज इफ यू हैव अप्लाइड कोलेस ऑन सम पर्टिकुलर फील्ड फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ यू वुड हैव अप्लाइड कोलेस ऑन द सीरियल नंबर विच इज काइंड ऑफ यूनिक एंड इफ इट इज एम टी इन द एक्सेल एंड यू वॉन्ट टू क्रिएट अ रिकॉर्ड फॉर दैट एज वेल देन यू कैन चेक दिस चेक बॉक्स आई विल सेव दिस ट्रांसफॉर्म मैप एंड यू कैन सी दीज टू बटन इन द रिलेटेड लिंक्स विच सेज ऑटो मैप मैचिंग फील्ड एंड मैपिंग असिस्ट so auto map as the name suggest it will automatically map the import set fields to the target table fields if i click on this you will see under this field maps some of the field maps which it was able to found will be mapped automatically so there was name which it automatically mapped to the name in the target table which is the computer table and this is the import set model id which it was able to find in the target table similarly for serial number as well if you see in our excel it wasn't able to find the asset tag and person name and that is why i had kept this name bit different because i wanted to show how can we map the fields which it wasn't able to find for that i will click on mapping assist and then you will see that fields in the import set table on the left hand side and then you will see the fields on the computer table on the right hand side and you will see the existing maps which it was able to map and then if you want to map new fields for example i will want to map asset tag i will move this asset tag to this table and then from here i will also move the asset tag and you can see asset tag is now mapped with the asset tag field of computer table similarly if i search for person name i'll double click here and i want to find assigned to here and now you can see person name is mapped to assigned to as well i will save this and if i scroll to the bottom you can see two new maps have been created for person as well as the asset tag as soon as you start mapping the fields you will see a new button called transform and it will actually transform data from the staging table in which we inserted one record and it will insert that record into the computer table you can apply colas on any of these fields from here you can double click here and set it to true and it will act as primary key for example if i set it to true here and i check box this the colas would be created on the name field i will save this again and now i will transform this in the next confirmation window it will ask which transform map you should be using for this particular transforming so we have created transform underscore demo if there would have been more we could have chosen the other ones as well so it signifies that we can have multiple transforms for a single import sets i'll click on this transform and it says it has successfully inserted a new record if i click on this i set you will be able to see all the details of this particular import set which happened so it says from book number 1 it has uploaded the data and it has been processed and what was the time taken and at what time the load was completed and it shows you the import set table name which was created so automatically after 7 days these import set tables are deleted automatically so there is a job written in service now to delete these tables after every 7 days and then if you see at the bottom import set runs so this shows that one record has been inserted no records have been updated and no records have been ignored or skipped i will go to my computer table and you can see there were 856 records i will click on all and one new record should be created it says 857 now and i will search for that record using the created field and i will sort this and you can see hardit laptop has been created here with the same asset tag and the model id was created and the serial number zxy and it was assigned to system administrator automatically now for example if we want to update this particular record what i will do is i will go to the excel for example the asset team would provide you the updated data next day and they want to update that particular record again for example the asset tag was updated to p12345 
and they wanted to update the serial number to A B C D and they realized that it is not assigned to system administrator it is assigned to some other user whose name is Batman and this Batman user is not created in service now so what will happen let's see that I will go to my import set again I'll click on load data and now instead of creating a new import set table I will be using my existing data import set table I will click here and I will search for that data import set table in this drop down I will select this and I will select that Excel again the updated Excel and then I will submit this so it has found that there is one transform map already there so it directly has shown me the run transform button so instead of creating a new transform map I will use the run transform and I will click on this transform and it says that it has successfully transformed the new record if I scroll at the bottom you can see instead of inserting it has updated that one record because we had defined our name as the primary key and it already was there in the computer table so it instead of creating a new record it actually updated this record so it should have the new asset tag and the new assigned to and as well as the serial number if I go back to this record and you can see the asset tag has been updated serial number has been updated and assigned to has been created if I go to this particular user so this user has been created just now let's go to the user list and if I sort it so you can see this Batman record has been created one minute ago so this is called foreign record insert so we were inserting or updating record in the computer table but it did not find anything with the name of user as Batman so it actually created a record in the reference table which is the user table now if you want to stop this foreign record insert you can go to your transform I'll click on transform maps and I will go to my transform map which we had created which was transform demo and I will go to this map field from person name to the assigned to and you will see a choice action so here you can define that in the foreign table or in the referred table whether the record should be created or not it is automatically selected as created by default if you want to ignore or reject you can select any of these records I hope this video was helpful to you and you would now be able to import data from your third party tool or excel into service now and you would be able to enforce these mandatory validations as well as foreign record inserts if you have any questions please do let me know in the comments I will be soon making a video on scripting in import sets as well please do subscribe to my channel for the latest videos thank you